We just flew into Ireland. Ireland. <laughs> Woo! <laughs> Phoebe turned 40 this year, and as part of his birthday celebration, he decided he wanted to see Ireland. So that's ultimately what led us to book this trip. We took an overnight flight to Dublin, and please, if you would, excuse my RBF in this video. <laughs> we were both really exhausted, and you know what? He's 40 now, we're both only getting older, it just takes us longer to recover from these overnight flights. <laughs> make the most of the time that we have here we hit the ground running as soon as our flight landed we got our rental car and we headed south towards the town of Wicklow we are running on like zero sleep and we can't check into our hotel until about four o'clock so we've got plenty of time to I don't know do our first hike I guess <laughs> guess so Here we are in Ballinasto Woods. And um, yeah, it's kind of creepy actually. <laughs> like uh, there's supposed to be like a little boardwalk, which is really what we're, we were interested in. I didn't know that it was gonna kind of be kind of this creepy looking. <laughs> this avid hiker <laughs> at least she wore the right hiking attire today yes <laughs> got some new kicks so we're here in the month of September the photos that we saw online there was a lot of like greenery and I guess the needles for the trees the pine trees have fallen so a lot of these trees look like kind of dead like their leaves have fallen or their needles have fallen so <laughs> It, I think, creates that eerie feel. Yeah, because, I mean, it just kind of looks creepy. <laughs> First hike, huh, Abby? Well, I definitely feel like we're in Ireland. <laughs> <laughs> this is gorgeous. It's pretty chilly. Um, it's not too bad. It's not too bad though. 
But yeah, like, we're walking up to this viewpoint here. <laughs> it's beautiful. I think this is a pretty good first hike for Ireland. I feel like, you know, this is exactly what I thought it would look like. It's beautiful. <laughs> I can't get over how green it is. Yeah. There's like fields and, and uh, as we were driving by them, there's little sheep all over the field. There's little sheep off in that field, off in the distance. They're so cute. Oh, you can see them from here. Little sheep. signs warning us of car break-ins like actual like street signs about not leaving valuables in your car so we found that to be interesting we'll in the middle of like a national park area like Wicklow National Park it's kind of strange so we'll see if our windows have been broken into <laughs> We were still trying to fight off our exhaustion and we had more time to explore before we could check into our hotel. I would highly suggest this area. Not only is it incredibly beautiful, but there is a ton of history to kind of see and explore. this thing very carefully so it doesn't get all over her <laughs> does it taste like oreo mm -hmm. oreo and soft serve pretty good <laughs> pretty good let me see mm, yeah that's pretty good checking out Glendalo Lake. Um, it's part of the Wicklow National Park. So um, we had a little ice cream, <laughs> which was pretty good. And took a nap in the car because we're so tired. You're not supposed to tell them that. <laughs> well, yeah. Uh, and I think we're gonna go check out our hotel now, see if it's our room's ready. Um, we're staying at the Glenview Hotel tonight. gonna start looking for a peregrine falcon. That would be cool. That would be pretty cool actually. What do you think? I have someone like this we have one have a look at it. Abby be shopping. I just want to show you these. We saw a lot of these. Mm -hmm. They send us a bath in 170. 
cute. Look at the little shoes. I like the little black one. Oh, oh there's a few. Yeah, there's one little black one. That's so cute. That is actually pretty cute. Well, Abby did not go with a sweater. What, what did she find? I got something for my grandma. For your grandma? Yeah, it's silly. It's these little <laughs> solar power. They like kind of dance. Right. But my grandma loves these solar power toys. She has a bunch of them, yeah. Yeah, in her window. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> From the deer. No, no petting the deer. I am smart enough to know. Do not approach wildlife <laughs> unless it's a bunny. <laughs> Is it? Uh, it's starting to kind of rain, isn't it? Yeah. <laughs> They're like all over the like tops of the buildings. Wow. <laughs> looking at facts about this. I think it's Glendalo is how it's pronounced. The Round Tower is one of the best preserved examples of Irish Round Towers. It's Ooh. over a thousand years old. And so there's, there's multiple Round Towers? Yeah, there's hmm. only 60 remaining and this one still has the roof so they're saying it's pretty impressive. Cool. So if you're in this Glendalo area, like we were just planning on going to the lake and as we left, we saw this tower. So um, that caused us to like pull over and we have been wandering around this cemetery with the monastery and everything. And it is really cool. It's like just history. And I mean, I love like old stone buildings. Yeah. Like, it's almost castle-like. So yeah. this is like so Irish to me. <laughs> It's crazy that they were saying that tower is over a thousand years old. And I was reading that they don't exactly know what it was for. Uh, they think it was a bell tower to warn the citizens of something. Or, like Vikings, it said. Yeah, it said like Viking attacks, which is crazy yeah. to think. Yeah. But some of these graves are so old and a lot of them are so worn you can't even read like the date. Yeah. It's pretty cool. Really cool stuff. It was finally time to head to our hotel for the night. We stayed at the Glenview Hotel and Leisure Club. We loved our stay there. 
The bed was amazing and we slept so good. <laughs> it could have been because we were so exhausted, but nonetheless, we loved our room. It was so cozy, and so quaint and just beautiful. For dinner that night, we were just too tired to have to try to make a decision about where to eat in town. So we ultimately just decided to eat at the hotel bar and it was awesome. The food was really good and the atmosphere was fun and lively. So we had a really good time. Abby's gonna give it a go. Oh, a little dollop. Tastes like raspberry? Very good. <laughs> We spent almost two weeks in Ireland road tripping around the whole country and really trying our best to hit all of the best spots. And we have so much to share with you because we vlogged almost every day that we were there and we really tried to capture the experience as best as we could. I really hope that you'll subscribe and follow along as we take you through Ireland with us.